Hello! So last week you may remember that I managed to completely destroy my camera lens and uh, I also dissected a top box and there was a good reason for that. I'd actually broken my plate so uh, it needed replacing and I replaced the top box along with it. So here's the new top box, no holes and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top gadgets that I've recently found that I'm carrying around with me and uh, hopefully you'll find some of them useful so here they are. So you may remember over the past couple of weeks I've been showing a few videos with products in like uh, the gas canister adapter and the water filter and there's actually a few more things I want to share with you but it didn't make sense to put them in individual videos because some of them are quite mundane so I've compiled them all into one video now and uh, here's what they are. So the first thing I want to talk about is dry bags. Now these are basically bags that keep things dry hence the name dry bag and uh, basically you fill that out with your clothes and things and then you roll this up and seal it off and that creates a waterproof lock on the outside and an airtight lock on the inside but uh, my recommendation when buying these is to buy them from a kayak company because uh, they're more often used in kayak journeys and uh, obviously to keep all your bits, your bits dry so um, if you buy them from a motorcycle company they usually ramp the price up by about three times as much so if you're looking for a dry bag, try looking at a kayak company first because it's almost half the price. So uh, that's my first thing. Next we've got these hand warmers. Now I used to use the chemical ones. You take them out of the packet, shake them and that's the end of it. You get uh, a few hours of use, so they say up to eight hours, but it's usually around four or five hours. And uh, after that you throw it in the bin. With these ones, after you've popped the little tag, and the chemical reactions take place, so you can see that there, it's uh, turning white. That will get quite hot and that will stay hot for about an hour. But uh, when this is finished, you can throw it in some boiling water and return it back to its previous liquid state so it's ready to be re reused again. And uh, you can use these, I think, I don't know, maybe 500 times. It says a thousand uses, but I always like to cut it in half just to be safe. So. You could get 500 uses out of that and that's incredibly warm. It's just as good as the, the chemical ones which you throw away. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Next is the gas canister adapter. Um, I'm not going to talk about that again because I've already made a video and I'll just stick a link somewhere if you haven't seen it. And next is uh, these pins. Now, most of you are probably aware that on the rear of your bike for securing the rear nut, you use a split pin and then bend it out and it secures the nut from moving. Now I saw these in the garage the other day and I thought that would be a better option so I'm now using these. I've no idea what they're called and uh, well they're really good. You just slot them in, they lock in place and they stop the nut from moving. Not that it should be moving anyway because it should be pretty well done up but uh, it's just far more easy to remove that, tighten up, adjust your chain and then slide this back in and you don't have to throw away a pin each time so they're really good. Next is this universal socket. Now basically this has got loads of pins inside that mould to the shape of any nut. So instead of carrying all the different sockets in your tool set, you just carry this one. And uh, of course anything on your bike that's got a hex nut, it just slots on and then you can unscrew it. So that's a really neat little device to have. It also works really well on rounded off bolts. So uh, definitely something to bear in mind. Next is this little device. Now, most puncture repair kits, what they call tire plug kits, come with uh, a CO2 cartridge and generally a little tube, especially in the cheaper ones because they don't supply this. But uh, if you have got the tube, I'd definitely invest in one of these. You basically screw your CO2 canister on, you can carry that under the bike seat, and then you've got a tap. Now, this tap just obviously unscrews and lets the air out. So it's like, pff, pff. And, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an absolutely great way to not use up all the gas straight away and uh, obviously then you can reuse it later on. So it's definitely a little good tap to have. Next is more for the camping enthusiast. Now this is a waterproof match. It's got a, a metal match inside with a piece of steel on the end and a flint sits along this box. So basically you, you fill up this little reservoir with petrol or lighter fluid, whatever it is, Leave your match in there, which is sealed. You can drop it in a lake in the river. As long as you can find it again, you can pull it back out and it's good to use. And you just strike that on there. That will light. 
and then you're good to go. So uh, it's just a, a neat little gadget to have. Next is these waterproof shoes. Now, as you're probably aware, I'm not using motorcycle boots at the moment, and these are a great second option. And the reason I like this particular set is because the bottom allows you to use your own tread from your own shoe. Whereas most of them have a cheap, nasty layer of like uh, tarpauling on the bottom that runs out after about five or ten minutes of walking. So these are actually really good and uh, I definitely recommend these over any other ones that I found. Um, I don't know if this is the best make out there so I won't mention any brands. But yeah, these are certainly a good thing to keep your, your shoes dry. And uh, next is a selfie stick. Now, I actually don't enjoy using selfie sticks. I think they're absolutely awful because you walk around in public like that, you're talking to an inanimate object and most people look at you like a complete lemon. So uh, I actually get quite embarrassed about using these, but I think this one's probably the best one I've seen. And mainly because of its design, you can kind of be a bit more discreet with it and uh, you can use it as a camera stabilizer. So you can use it, well, not like a machine gun, but uh, certainly to stabilize your footage. And uh, the bonus feature with this one is in the bottom, it comes with three legs. And that can be used as a tripod. So basically you could film, uh, obviously not at that angle, but uh, something a bit more practical and uh, take a video of yourself. So that's uh, another little neat gadget to, to have. If you use a GoPro, they're now selling, well, I'm not sure if GoPro are selling them directly, but there's certainly companies out there selling these, and these are wind sleeves. And uh, you put your GoPro into the wind sleeve, and it blocks all related wind noise, which is incredibly helpful if you're recording motorcycle journeys, because quite often the wind hits the camera and you get that horrible <laughs> But uh, with this, it eliminates, I reckon, about 80% of the wind noise, and you get a more stable engine sound coming from it. So, uh... By that covering all the microphones, it's definitely uh, a huge improvement. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is speakers. Now, I've been playing around with speakers for quite a while, trying to find the best one. And in my opinion, this is the best one I've found. It's uh, 10 meters waterproof, incredibly loud, great battery life, has all the AUX fittings on the side for plugging things in, and you can connect your phone to it. The downside is it weighs probably more than a kilo and uh, it's quite large. So I've been searching the market for an alternative and I've been searching for this style. Now these, these are pretty good, they're not great, battery life is moderate, but I finally found one that I really like. And uh, I actually came across them quite a few years ago but didn't realise I should have bought one at the time. And this is called a Funk Pod, and it's by a company called Blue Monkey. Yep, Blue Monkey. And uh, they're incredibly loud, they've got good bass, they kind of turn the surface of what they're placed on into a, into like a, a woofer for more uh, enhanced bass. And uh, they last about 10 hours, they have phone features, you can connect your phone, Bluetooth, has a micro SD card slot. They're just, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, this is the best one I've seen, so... If you're looking for a small speaker, the Funk Pod is definitely on top at the moment. And the last thing I want to talk about is the new GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's got a new technology in it called um, HyperSmooth technology, which has been compared to gimbal hardware, which is basically three axis technology, which moves your camera around to keep it completely stabilized. And this is probably some of the best in camera stabilization I've ever seen. Now, I was actually given this to write a review, so um, uh, yeah, thank you for giving me a free £300 camera, it is much appreciated. Um, I won't be doing a video review on this, I'll just give them their handwritten review, because uh, I think there's, there's thousands of reviews on GoPros all over the internet, and it would just be a waste of time me adding another one to that collection. So, uh, just for me to say, it is actually really good, the hypersmooth technology in it is, it's very smooth, so... That's that. And just before I go, uh, I've been approached by a lot of companies recently asking me to um, do reviews and sponsorships for products. And quite often I give them the same answer. I tell them uh, I won't incorporate your product in my video unless I find it exceptionally good. So you're giving me the product on the basis that I probably won't make a video on it. 
and uh, a lot of companies shy away at that point because obviously they just want their product advertised not really reviewed but uh, some that have been genuine have come forward and uh, written me thank you cards and given me like 50 pounds worth of tesco vouchers uh, i'm not sure oh yeah i've got a tesco near me so that's pretty helpful and uh some other companies have given me virgin experience packages and uh, this one's for a luxury night cabin camping experience for two so uh, i'll definitely turn that into a movie and uh i've got something from booking.com to give back to my viewers so uh let me just clarify what it is you'll get a reward back on your credit card of 15 pounds when booking with booking.com if you use this link so uh it's valid on a minimum booking spend of 30 pounds I suppose every hotel is over £30 now, so you'll get £15 back on your credit card if you use this link, which I'll put somewhere in the description or in a comment somewhere. So please use that and save yourself £15, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.